Hi everyone, my name is Leo Beaulieu and I'm with the Children's Design Ch uh, International Collection. And we have a video today, which is a short video. It's an interview with a very special guest. She's an artist, she's also an author, and she is um, now a published poet as well. And she's with us today to talk about a specific drawing she made uh, some years ago. And she's with us with her younger brother. They are together, they're a team. They're a team known and famously known on Instagram as Maquer's Muse. So I'm welcoming today uh, Maquer and Camden Everett. Hi, Maquer. Hi, Camden. How are you? Hi, it's good to see you. It's good to see you because uh, people don't know, but uh, it's the first time we are actually meeting online. Yes. And But we have been in contact almost like a year ago. A year ago, I discovered a little bit what you were doing during my lockdown pandemic time. And I found out about your Instagram and your art, uh, your chalk art you were making on the driveway of your parents' house. And I made a little blog entry and uh, there it goes. And a few few months down the road, I discovered that you published a book. Yes. Huh? And uh, just recently, you published a second book, yes. including some haiku poetry. So it's been a very busy time for you all that pandemic year, because we're going to talk about a specific drawing that you made when you were, what, nine or ten? I, I was nine, yes. So I was about his age. Okay. So you were nine, you made that drawing, and you're going to show us what yeah. that drawing is specifically. It's a portrait of the two of you. Okay. It's a portrait of the two of you. Yeah. And it's made of, uh, what, crayon? Yes, it is crayon and crayon and pencil both together. It is crayon. So do you remember when the moment when you made that picture? Yes. So my parents, we had a, almost like an empty room upstairs and it wasn't being used. So we thought we'd turn it into an area where Kim and I can read books and play with toys and draw and we needed some artwork for that area. So I thought, why not Drew, do a piece where Cam and I are together because that's who's going to be using the space most. Okay. Um, so yeah, and I drew this really bright and colorful rainbow and my parents absolutely loved it. And that was the first picture that went into that room. So. And why did you make the rainbow swirly instead of just a curve? Do you know that? I don't know, my nine-year-old brain really. <laughs> I don't know. I, I guess I was trying to make it different or unique. I'm not sure, but yeah. It's in the book. The rainbow is swirly. Uh, it's, you know, it's a bit yin and yang. That's why I it is. It is. That, right? <laughs> now, you, you, um, you kept that picture because your parents really liked it. And yeah. the two of you are in it. And you kept it for several years. Yes. And last year, I guess it was on the wall somewhere. And you said, okay. Let's make it bigger now. Yes. How did you make that decision at that point? So we obviously love this um, this picture that I drew when I was little, and it was a really important piece to us. So we thought, why not show? Because we did this on our 101st day of chalk, or our hundred, yes, 101st day of chalking, to show how far we've come. Um, and because we're such a team, we thought that this would be a perfect representation on a larger scale. Um, so I drew this in chalk on our driveway and then had Cameron standing under the rainbow, just like in uh, the picture. So it kind of made our entire, I guess, starting point come to life. It was really cool. It was a great moment. And it, it's a perfect example of how art can inspire art. Listen, I really appreciate that you came out and speak with us today. It's very, very appreciative. Uh, definitely, uh, we encourage you to continue to keep uh, the art that you make uh, uh, beautifully. We invite parents, kids, grandparents eh, to do exactly like you did with your parents is to keeping and safekeeping at least uh, a, f a few images uh, made in the, in the family house. Thank you very much, both of you, for, uh, for the, the chat uh, this morning. And uh, all of the best with the school year. 
with the new art uh, and with the future books as well. Um, I very much like the Aiku poetry in, in the book. Again, uh, hint to the yin and yang uh, <laughs> phenomenon that the two of you are. Uh, and thank you again. And um, I hope to, uh, to see more art in the near future. Thank you so much for having us. Thank you. Bye.